Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so today we're going to be talking about the Pi Zero or Pi Zero W, whatever you prefer. If we got a job where we need to have GPIO pins in that bad boy, and we don't want to solder them in, well, let's use this little kit right here. These are the Hammer Headers GPIO. It's pretty much a little jig, a little, a little uh, tool to kind of easily get your GPIOs in there without having to solder. So this is great. So the pins here that we're going to put, you see there's these little eyelets on the bottom. Struggling with this focus here, but we got it. So these kind of, you know, they'll be pushed into the board and then grab in since they're bigger than the holes. So we'll get them in there nice and sturdy and you'll have a solid set of GPIO pins on your Pi Zero or Zero W with this awesome little hammer header kit. So the eyelet piece is going to sit on top of those holes. So let's go ahead and put this little jig together. We got these little 20 millimeter screws, little acrylic screws. Your kit should come with two of them if you buy these. And they will slide in through the bottom of this plate. And there is that slit so the GPIOs can go through the bottom there. So we're going to get those in there. And then get this little fella right on through the acrylic screws as well. Get them in there. Push them on in. Boom. We got it. That's what I'm talking about. And then the piece with our GPIO pins with the eyelets on the bottom, the shorter spot, we're going to kind of line them up. You don't want to push them in there. You will injure yourself as I have done several times messing with GPIO pins. I have cut myself. They are sharp. Be careful. Now put your next piece, the little piece, on top of that. And then the screws, you want to make sure they're in there flush. No space underneath. And then the last piece, there's these little holes for the, the little screw heads to sit on so it's flush. Everything's flat on the bottom. So otherwise when you're hammering, you're going to get an uneven job. You're going to screw up your board or screw up the pins. Now you can either use a hammer um, or, you know, the hammers that I have are wider on the edge. So I'm using just a screwdriver that has a flat piece on the handle. And then I'm just going to start hammering, hammering it away. Just boom, 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 boom. You want to do it evenly. Try to not hit it too hard. You know, I've done this before, like a couple months ago, with a uh, with a rubber mallet, and I screwed things up because I was doing too much. You don't want to hit it too hard. So either have a, a hammer that has a smaller surface space so you're not breaking this thing or doing it unevenly, or you do what I'm doing using a screwdriver. And I, I get the job done. It takes a little longer as there's no no weight to it. And you just want to check occasionally, make sure you're you're getting them in there even. Because if you get one side in and the other side's not in, you're going to wind up bending the pins. So you might notice a little tiny bit of unevenness. Maybe one side's almost in, the other side, you know, microscopic, you could see a little difference. That's okay. It's just when it's a huge gap and you don't pay attention to it, you're going to break those pins or bend them. So just keep monitoring it, looking at it, making sure it's even, and then just hammering it away. Boom, 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 boom. It only took me a couple minutes, really. I fast-forwarded because, you know, it's a long, boring process of just hammering. As you see, I got those bad boys in there. Everything's looking pretty, pretty slick. Like I said, be careful with them because with, with these GPIOs, they are sharp. I've cut myself a couple times. Get a little slices here and there. You know, a little battle damage from working on the pie. That's all right. But just be careful. Like I said, be careful as well hammering in it. You know, the company that makes this kit, they they warn you as well. Hey, if you damage your your pie or the pins, it ain't their fault. So be careful. It ain't my fault either. So just be careful. But mine, not bent. Everything's in there flush and nice. Nice and tight. Just like I like it. So now, with our GPIOs in there, we're ready for any kind of projects that use the GPIO pins. Could be a power button, could be 
you know, your little, you know, hats, fats, whatever you got that's going on to this bad boy, any little side projects. Or you could do this. Use your joy bonnet and throw that bad boy on here. She's ready for one. So let's go ahead and do that. So I do have the Adafruit case that will work for the Pi Zero and the Joy Bonnet. Works pretty well. I'm also going to 3D print a case, but that'll be for another day. So here's the Joy Bonnet. Pretty cool. Little tiny controller that you attach to the Pi Zero. Kind of neat for babies or people with really small hands, you know. I'm, I'm the one to judge. If you got little baby hands, this is going to be awesome for you. So go ahead and pop our Pi with our sharp, really sharp GPIOs into this case. Kind of clicks in the place, so it's kind of it's kind of tough. You, like I said, don't don't cut yourself. Don't cut yourself. Pop that bad boy in. Put the top piece back on. Your micro SD card will be accessible with this case, so that's kind of cool. Boom. Now we want to line up our joy bonnet and our GPIOs. Make sure you're not doing it uneven or lining it up incorrectly because you will bend them. You don't want to bend them. It's not something you want to do. So bam, we got her on there. She's on there nice and tight, snug, ready for a person with little tiny hands to play some games. Or if you have, you know, an infant who um, is really intelligent and can get down on some Super Mario Brothers, bam! That's what we're talking about right here. The Joy Bonnet for people with little hands or little tiny babies. Awesome. I still think it's neat. You know, I got some big hands, but I'm still going to mess with this, you know, all jokes aside. But, you know, really is for babies. So there we go, guys. Hope you appreciate it. Like, subscribe, all that great stuff. I'll catch you next time. Boom!